Today we have a 256 gigabyte emulation build and this one is specifically designed for the Steam Deck. So if you wanted a little emulation build to accompany your Steam Deck, it's in it's a boot up by itself. So it's a separate thing from your normal Steam library. So you just put it, you download this, you put it in an, on an SD card, you put it in your Steam Deck, you boot with the volume button and then you can default boot into this front end that you're seeing now with hundreds of games over 20 systems this thing's going to have all the playstation places one two three it's going to have nintendo ds 3ds nintendo switch nintendo game a really nice gamecube library nintendo 64 super nintendo sega mega drive sega you know all the systems are going to be on here so if you just want to build your own or a really quick download to get started where you just put the preloaded micro SD and it's all set up for you with all the games and all the controls and all the optimizations then this one's gonna be for you but if you also want to just put this in a computer like I'm doing in this video that's also possible so this you can burn this to a micro SD card or an SSD or a, or a external hard drive some sort of data storage and as long as you can plug it into that computer or desktop or laptop you can default boot into this Batocera emulation build and like I said, it's totally optimized, a lot of great games. Um, it focuses a lot on the Nintendo more than Sony, and it has a lot of arcade style games. It even has Street Fighter 4. So like I said earlier, you can put this on a micro SD card, and this is how you do it, or external hard drive. Download the image, uncompress it, and then write it using a program called Etcher, and then default boot. In All right, we got our hard drive hooked up. Game Sir controller. And you can see here, you can go through the modes. And I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so you can get a better view. Is the build and total games 9,631. Let's go ahead and check out his favorites here, starting at the top of the alphabet. We got Alex the Kid, we got Cars 3 for PSP, uh, we got Castle of Illusions, Mickey Mouse for the Mega Drive, great game. Uh, Contra, Shattered Soldier for PS2. Um, so this image is for your, we'll scroll through some of these favorites because these are some really good games. And that's what you're going to notice about this image is it's under 500 gigabytes and um, it's just kind of the best of the best games, hand selected, so you don't have to buy a big hard drive. Um, you can put this on a micro SD card or an external drive. You can put it into your Steam Deck and you can just go gaming or you can run it like I'm running it and running on any laptop or desktop computer and it'll just work. And so, as you see here, it's going to be a mix-up. So, there's just beat em up and shoot em ups These are just collections. And uh, let's start with the heavy hitters over here going backwards. Um, Steam, you have access to your Steam account and all the games. PS3, you've got about 12 games here, or a little under that. Afro Samurai, really fun game. Um, it's actually a really expensive game, too. Demon Souls. FIFA Street 3 Ratchet & Clank Collection, and then Ratchet & Clank Full Frontal Assault. So you might notice it's missing a picture there. There's a few duplicates and things I've noticed throughout this build, and I'll show it to you. PSP, you, again, just similar to the other um, PS3, about nine games or so, eight games. PlayStation 2, 30 games only. And the reason for this is this is such a small image. People were actually asking me in my comments not too long, PlayStation 3 games. People were actually asking me, like, hey, how come there's no image with just a few games on it? Well, here you go. This will be the one for you. Neo Geo 100, almost all the Neo Geo games. There's like 140, and so here's 100. It's going to have most of the heavy hitters there. Naomi 2, you got five games here. Beach Spikers. You want to play some beach volleyball here? Oh, she got it. Oof, out of bounds. Initial D version 3, Virtual Fighter 4, Virtual Striker 3, and Wild Riders. If you keep going up here, we got regular Naomi. What do we got for that? You're going to have a lot more games here. 31 games. So the, the, a lot of this image is going to be like arcade style games, I've noticed. Um, and they're going to run really well on your Steam Deck. Monkey Ball's on here as well. Power Stone 1 and 2. So think about this as your Sega Dreamcast as well. Sega Tetris. That's actually a really good Tetris game. Zero Gunner 2, Zombie Revenge is a good one as well. So as far as video snaps like this, where you can see a preview of the game, some systems have it, some systems don't, and you'll see as we progress. Sega Model 3 of 15 games. Um, really fun games here. Now you might notice these two have little guns next to them. They're light gun games. 
I don't see you playing light gun games with your Steam Deck, but hey, they're there. They don't take up a ton of space. Second model too, though, here's where I found all these duplicate games. Uh, you might be able to clean this up a little bit more in here. There's really only probably about 20 games or so, but on the screen here it says 85 because it's counting every single ROM file it's seeing here. Uh, but, you know, it's really just one Daytona, Dead or Alive, Desert Tank, and a few others. But most of the, all the Sega Model 2 games that you'll find on most images I found on this, this one as well. Game Gear, only 10 games. Wow, such a bold thing to do. A um, lot more games than that, but he's just picking his personal favorites here. And uh, they're all really good games. And if anything, that's kind of cool. I usually, I usually skip over game, game Gear anyways, but being on a Steam Deck, it might be kind of fun. Sega Genesis, what do we have here? We have 665, so almost pretty much every single Sega Genesis game. Does it have video snaps? Yes, it does. So you can see the previews of the games before you play. Sega Master System, 462, and again with the video snaps, pretty much the whole collection there. Now Thomas Wave, 14 games with the video snaps, the video previews, Metal Slug, really fun. Dolphin Blue, kind of like Metal Slug, really fun. Demolish Fist, really good uh, fighting game here as well as you see. All right, Pi Games, Python. So you got Pi Gun and Retro Trivia. Okay, Ports, you have the original Doom shareware version, Mr. Boom. You got the Nintendo Switch emulator option, the Switch updater, and Rick Dangerous ROM or a port game to play. Nintendo Switch is going to be massive. I'll show you that. Yeah, this, this actually image has a lot on it as I'm going through it. Nintendo Switch, uh, let's go and look at the count here 29. So you've got, what I really like is Contra Anniversary, the Captain Toad, which is in his favorite. Uh, you also have, got some Majong, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Those are kind of your big heavy hitters, and the rest are kind of mini games, retro mini games like that. Um, with the Nintendo Switch, I did have to change the emulator. Hit select on your controller here. If you are going to be running it on a computer, not the Steam Deck, you might want to change the emulator. I found the early access working better than the main line here, but um, you can mess around with that. Everything else I, I left to auto. I didn't really mess with any of that. And you can mess with it more. Um, but that's the nice thing about this Battle Sarah build, is you can hit start on your controller at any time and mess with all your settings. You can hit select on your controller at any time while you're in a system and get different settings for those particular games. So as you see here, we got about 12 uh, Nintendo 3DS. I love to see this because if you're rocking the Steam Deck, you know, you love these games growing up and, um, you know, these are meant to be played on the go. And so those are pretty cool. Uh, Super Mario 3D Land, and then The Legend of Zelda, and then Yoshi's New Island. So I would totally rock all these games for sure. Nintendo DS, 36 games. You do have Contra 4, Lego games, Mario Kart, New Super Mario Bros. It looks like there's a duplicate there. And you do have some Pokemon Black and Diamond here as well. Legend of Spyro and Zelda on there. So, like I said, some big heavy hitters on this image. So, Game Boy Advance, you just threw every single game on there, it looks like. And uh, those are there. Nintendo GameCube, wow. There's a lot of games on here now that I'm actually thinking, looking at this. Huge Nintendo collection here. So, it looks like there's a little bit more love on the Nintendo side of the systems than on the Sony side of systems from what I've seen. But um, I'm liking it. These are a lot, a lot of fun games here and I mean there's so many more games than that he really had to limit it Game Boy Color it's gonna be all your games Nintendo 64 only 15 wow so hard to get the Nintendo 64 catalog down to 15 these are all 15 really great games but it's still missing some in my opinion but uh, you know a nice small collection so Super Nintendo pretty much all of the games miss it looks like it's missing like 60 games or so Game Boy all the games as well with video snaps I'm sure there you go you can see previews NES, all of them, plus it looks like there's some Japanese games in here, or maybe some hacks as well. Oh, there's a couple duplicates as well, but um, you'll have that. PC Engine 302, so another system with most of the catalog in there. Oop, be careful, there's some uh, adult games in there as well. Screenshots, if you have a screenshot during a game, you can take a screenshot, so that's not really a game. And then, yeah, it has Windows games as well. It has a bunch of Angry Birds. Crosscode, Outrun 2006, Street to Rage 4, and yes, it has Street Fighter 4 Ultra. 
that is a cool, I mean, if you're Honda, if your name's Honda, you better have that up there. So MSX2 plus 52, MSX2 123, MSX almost 300, and then 22 Mugen games. Uh, so we've got Capcom vs. SNK 2, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Uh, pretty cool to see those as well. Commodore 64, 53 games, Coleco, all of them. Jaguar, 54 games. So there's some really cool games for that, plus the video snaps here. Okay, and then you got Atari's, Atari Lynx, Atari 7800, 52 Hundo, and 26, pretty much all the games there. Amstrad CPC, 2400 games, and then you're back to shoot 'em ups. Yeah, it's even 4 3, the original. Oh man. I mean, it definitely runs smooth though. You always gotta watch out for the dogs and this guy over here. Easy extra life. All right, so we were just playing the Nintendo Switch, the uh, Contra Collection. It has, like, all the original Contra games, and um, they play in the original resolution, but they run really well. Um, and then this image also has a lot of those games for the original console as well. Here we are playing some PSP, Metal Slug for PSP. Really fun game. I love the weapons on this game. But uh, what do I think about this image? I think it's great, especially those with a Steam Deck. You know, I think 256 is a great size, and I think what he's done here as far as far as like hand selecting the games is great like for me personally a lot of these games are the games that i would play there's a few games missing but you can easily add those yourself you can also delete some of the games you don't want to make more room that's totally available uh to you uh with this image but if you're just looking for something plug and play and it has a huge variety of systems and then also it's small like 256 is fairly small you know we're getting we're coming into like people are doing one terabyte ssd sd cards you know um as far as the build quality mistakes and like the the you know the the care that this image has taken um you know i'd give it a solid b um it's definitely not perfect there's you know some some duplicate roms um some of the loading wasn't quite right like the game wouldn't boot i had to change the emulator it was just for a few things though and then the other thing being is i recorded this video on a um computer not a steam deck so it might be working just fine on the steam deck but it was advertised that you know this could also work oh, on a second. computer so um keep that in mind but i think this is a great option i think bad Sarah booting up is amazing because you could put it in like an old dell computer and a lot of this stuff will run now you saw playstation 3 there the um cars 2 game that's not going to run so well unless you have a dedicated graphics card you will need something a little bit more powerful to run some of these games um, so it all depends on what kind of device you're running it on but a fairly good device will run all this stuff really really well and it's great to just turn an old laptop or computer into a gaming device or like i said the steam deck it's plug and play so anyways that's what i think let me know all think don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one